Welcome to Getting to Know Your Neighbors, a show committed to celebrating diversity and learning about other cultures. Our guest today is Anne-Sophie Ukwa. She is from Cameroon on the western portion of Africa. Um, she's actually a student of mine at Oakland University, and I've asked her to come on the show. So welcome, Anne-Sophie. Uh, could you give us a little greeting in uh, one of the many languages spoken in Cameroon? Okay, bonjour tout le monde. And that would be French, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. And we'll talk a little bit in, in, uh, later in the show about um, some history and the French influence there. But can you tell me, Anne, uh, when you first came to the United States and what was your motivation for coming to this country? I mean, my first motivation was because my mom was already here. Okay. So I just came to join her. And the second one would probably be school because we have lots more opportunity here. Okay. Yeah, so that's why I chose to come here in the United States. Okay, and I think you're, this is your first year, right, at Oakland University? Yeah, in Oakland University. Okay, yep. and uh, let me ask you, what is your major at Oakland University? Do you, yeah. Currently, I'm doing biochemistry. Biochemistry. Yeah, but okay. I wish to continue in medicine, medicine school. Okay. Yeah. And what, uh, when you get your degree in biochemistry, what would be your dream job, do you think? What would you... I want to be a doctor, medical doctor, but yeah. um, for right now, I don't know, maybe I could be a cardiologist. Okay. I mean, that's my first choice. That's yeah. Good. Very good. Very good. Um, since coming to the United States, um, mm -hmm. what have been, have you experienced any big challenges here um, that have maybe been a little difficult for you or nothing major? I mean, the language. The that language. was the only thing. Yeah. And did you learn some English in Cameroon? Yeah, but we only like know little stuff like how to say good morning, okay. how to ask directions. Yeah, pretty much it. Okay. Yeah. And then when you first came here, what were your first impressions of the United States? Every time, I know I've traveled a lot, you go to a different country and there's sometimes yeah. a little bit of a culture shock. You know, what, what were some <laughs> of your first impressions? I mean, it is big. Okay. Like everything is really big. Even the food, like the portions are really big. So okay. I, I think that was my first thing, yeah, that okay. I observed. Everything big, including the food. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, w the people you've met here so far at mm -hmm. school and, and around town, has, has everybody been pretty good to you, helped you out? Yeah, a lot, actually. Actually, my friends at work. Yeah, so okay. with them, I learned how to speak English. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and your English is, is very good considering you didn't really practice it that much in Cameroon. No, and, not really. uh, and I think I told you that in class once. I'm, it's amazing how, how fast you've picked up on the language. Um, tell me about your family in Cameroon. Yes, yeah, so I have a pretty big family. Mm -hmm. I come from um, a family with um, many mothers, if I can say that. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I have many brothers and sisters. Yeah. Okay. Approximately how many? How many? I would say I have, I would say eight at home. Eight at that, home? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but we know in Africa you have your brother like everywhere. It doesn't have to be at home. You can have brothers outside of the house. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. What about the place where you grew up in Cameroon? Can you describe the yeah. city? Was it the capital? Was it outside the city? The major cities? Yeah. I grew up in Douala which is the economic capital. Okay. So it is a pretty big city in Cameroon. That's where uh, we have more businesses like mm -hmm. agriculture. Um, everything actually in the marketplace, everything is big, you know. Okay. So I think also it's like you're going to see some part of the city which are like beautiful. Okay. And some places that are really not nice to live in. Okay. Yeah. Okay, just like cities in the United States. Yeah, There's some beautiful ex exactly. parts and some, some not so nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, getting outside of the city, what a, can you describe the the country of Cameroon? I know it's called Miniature Africa, and can you tell us why maybe it's called Miniature Africa, and tell us a little bit about the uh, yeah. some of the physical features? I think it is called like that because we have a lot of diversities. We mm -hmm. have, for example, more than 250 ethnicities, mm -hmm. people speaking different languages. Also, we have, um, based on the land, we have volcanoes, we have forests, we have savannas. Okay. Yeah, so we have a lot of diversity. Okay, and you're right on the uh, Atlantic Ocean, and then yeah. you go quite a bit inward. Mm -hmm. Kind of a, it, it's not, it, 
kind of an oddly shaped country, a little bit in the north. It kind of narrows <laughs> out and kind of yeah, slithers I know. around Nigeria. We there. call it like a, um, a pregnant woman because like you can see actually the belly and <laughs> oh, okay. if you look well at the map. I can see that now, <laughs> now that I'm picturing the country. Yeah. Uh, what about schooling in Cameroon? What were your schools like and uh, how are they different than maybe schools in the United States? We'll start with your maybe elementary and high school first, then maybe you could tell us about colleges after that. But Yeah, I don't really have a lot of memory about elementary school, mm. but I, I can talk about high school. Okay. So I went to two different high schools. Mm -hmm. The first one was like a pretty small school. We had like no more than 25 children in school. It mm -hmm. was pretty big. We have some um, computers at school. We have some labs sometimes. And then I came to another school, which is called Lycée Blank of Bonaberry in Douala. Were these public or private schools? No, public. Public, public. school, okay. Yeah, but that one was pretty much different because we had too many children in the classroom. We have, for example, like 130 children in the same class. In the same class, not in the school, but in the no, same classroom. No, same class, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is that a problem for the teacher to keep control at all? or? Not, not not too bad? Not really, because everyone is kind of focused on school. So, you know, everyone, everybody can listen to, to what the teacher is saying. So, okay. really. But the problem was just the heat. Sometimes when it's, like, too hot outside. And, you know, it's always hot. Okay. Yeah, so it can be difficult. But. Can, distracting, right? <laughs> can't concentrate. I can't imagine. I've taught school yeah. for so many years, having, at least in high school, teaching, having 130 students in yeah. a classroom. But the it's Students pretty are pretty different. well behaved. How are the teachers? Are they pretty strict? Are they um, uh, pretty high expectations for academics? Or would you, th you know, you didn't go to high school here, so I guess you don't have it anything to compare no. it to. But, but I would say that they expect a lot more from us because, you know, in Africa, everybody wants to go abroad, so they kind of give us what we need, you know, okay. to be able to go there. So in here, I don't know if the same thing high school and college. You can have, you can choose the classes you want to take per semesters. Okay. In Cameroon, you don't have to. You can't choose. Actually, you have more than ten classes to take at the same time. Okay. You don't really have to choose. Okay. So because of that, people, I think, people are more focused. You need to, you know, you want to pass all your class. Okay. Yeah. Maybe that's a good thing. Sometimes I think. Here in America, we give people too many choices, too many you know, freedom. and then maybe yeah. they don't always make the best choices. Students, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, getting back to your family, I know in class you talked a little bit about um, family and your father. What what kind of work did your father do in Cameroon? He's an engineer. He's an engineer. Okay. Yeah. Very That's good. What he does. And the languages spoken in Cameroon. I know you said there's about. Did you say 250 different ethnic groups? Yeah. And do a lot of them speak their own languages? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so yeah. that's a lot of languages. And uh, you speak one of those languages too then, other than French and the English yeah. you speak? Yeah, I speak, um, I would say I speak more Bakwa. That's my grandmother's languages. Okay. So because I grew up to her, so I was speaking more Bakwa with her. She doesn't speak French and English. Oh, okay. So that, that was the only way for us to communicate. Well, you gave us a greeting in French earlier. Um, how would you give a greeting like, hello, how are you, or something like that in, in, in that, in that okay. ethnic language, would you? I think hello is unzia. Okay. Unzia, if I pronounce it well. Okay. And if you want to say, like, how are you, in Bakwa, Anjiga, Anjiga, and you answer, Adfitsa. Okay, I'm not going to even try that. <laughs> um, yeah. Getting back to, you know, you talked about some of the beauty of the country, miniature Africa, they call it, because it yeah. has a little bit of everything, lakes and, and savannas and forests. If, mm. if I had about a week to visit your country, what would be some of the more interesting places you would take me to? Mm, my first choice, Douala. That's where I grew the, up. The capital? Okay. Yeah, so we have a lot of... Um, how can I say, like, like attraction parks over there. Okay. But usually mo when tourists come to Cameroon, they usually go to Quibi or Limbe because that's where we have beaches okay. and stuff. Yeah. Very nice. A lot of the museums in the capital, too, you could visit? Some in, the, in the capital, I'm, I'm not sure, but I visited one in Limbe. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's get to the topic of food. Uh, can you tell me some really common meals that would be served? I can tell you a lot of, but uh, okay. okay. <laughs> you think it's some yeah. of the more common ones. I guess it's a hard question because it's just like any country. There's so many different varieties. But yeah, we'll... but but when you say common, it's like not really common. But it depends on your ethnicity. Okay. So I'm um, like from Bakwa, like I told you, my grandma is Bakwa, and okay. we are we call them Bamili K. So mm -hmm. we eat a lot of. Um, we have actually a lot. We have Kui, which is spelled N K U I. Oh, okay. you can have, like, um, in French it says plantain pilet. Okay. Yeah, or you can have contre. That's my grandma's okay. <laughs> favorite. In terms of meat, what is your, what is meat? It, the most common meat? Beef or pork or lots of fish or? In, in Douala, it's actually fish because that's where we have a lot of fish in Cameroon. Okay. But people eat mostly beef. Mostly beef, Yeah, that's okay. the common meat over there. Speaking of um, water and fish, I, I, I read that the country, Cameroon, it's actually yeah. a name for um, like a type of shrimp or something like that. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, so this, uh, the Spanish called us Weirdos Cama West. Okay. That's, that means like the river of shrimp. The river of shrimp. Okay. Yeah, that's how they call us. All right. What about beverages? What are some favorite beverages, tea, coffee, or maybe even some alcoholic beverages that people like. Is there any yeah. the more favorite ones? I would say beer. Beer. Favorite. Yeah. People, people <laughs> like beer. People okay. enjoy beer in Cameroon. Okay. Yeah. And we also have one traditional beverages called Matango. Oh, what is that like? Matango. It's like, I don't know, we call it like white wine, but it's not really white wine. It's kind of different. It's made of... Um, um, the banana tree and okay. other stuff. I don't know exactly how to make it, but like yeah. Banana, but it's made from the banana. No, actually, banana. Uh, how do you call cocoa? Yeah. Coconut, maybe. Coconut. Okay. Coconut tree. What about uh, religion in your country, with all the different ethnicities and the, you know, I know in the history of the country, the Germans were originally there, and then the French and British mm -hmm. during uh, the colonization period. Um, how does his, I mean, religion play a role there? We have two major religions, mm -hmm. like Christianity and Islam. Okay. But we also have many other religions. But the thing is, like, we do that pretty well. Everybody's friend with everybody. It gets along well. Yeah, okay. you can be friend with a Muslim friend. We really don't care about okay. religion. Yeah. I think that's important for the people to see that, that it's not impossible for all these different ethnic groups and religions to mm -hmm. get along. It works. Yeah. I know Cameroon has been a very peaceful country for a long time with different, as you say, different religions. Um, what about some holidays in Cameroon? Of course, you, you know, with Christianity and Islam, you practice those major holidays for those religions, depending on your religion. But what about some other holidays that are maybe important there? Small holidays, I would say, that's for women. For women, the um, International Day of Women, mm -hmm. that was uh, March 8th. Okay, that's a big day. In yeah, that's a big day for women okay. over there. They what get to go out and drink beer or be with friends. Okay. Sometimes the husband gets to cook. But okay. Yeah, that's uh, something big. That's good. We have our Mother's Day here, but um, that sounds a little, you guys really do it up well there for that day, right? Yeah. What about some other holidays? Other holidays, really... I would say Christmas. Christmas is a big one. Yeah, for okay. children, actually. Okay. They get to go out and dance, yeah. Okay. Can you share a little bit of the history of Cameroon, some of the major events in history? I know colonization plays a role in the past, you know, 150, 200 years. Mm -hmm. Could you, you know, maybe going back to early history, what are some events that you think were kind of important to the country? Yeah, so we've been colonized by the French, mm -hmm. uh, the English, and I think at some point by the Spanish. The Spanish too, like you yeah. said, the name comes from a Spanish term. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we've been, how do you say that, independent? Like Independence. Independence, yeah, in 1960. Okay. After war, after um, World War II. Right. So since that we've had two presidents 
So mm -hmm. we have the first one was Amadou Aijo, okay, and the second one Pobia. Okay. He's been there for like more than twenty years now. I don't know exactly okay. for how long, okay. but yeah. And the people, people generally like him pretty much. Yeah, people don't really mind. He does a okay. good job for he the country. He does a good job for the country. Like you said, he keeps keeps everything pretty peaceful and yeah, um, affordable for yeah. Okay. For the most part. What about um, some other? You got your independence in 1960. Um, after World War II, most of the African continent, all the 50 plus countries got independence. Mm -hmm. um, any other important uh, dates that you could think of in Cameroon history? Yeah, May 20th. Hmm, what was that? Uh, that's the unification of the country. So, oh, okay. because we were once colonized by the English and once by the French, so the country was kind of divided in two, like mm -hmm. the French world and right. the English world. So in May 20, 20th, I don't remember exactly the year. Okay. So we get united, yeah. Okay, so. united the, the British part and the French British part. British part right? and the French part. Okay, yeah. so that's a, they still celebrate that day, right? Yeah, we always do. Okay. Yeah. How do you celebrate it? Nice meal or they have parades or anything like that? We have parades. Okay. Yeah. What about favorite sports? What are, what are some of the favorite sports in Cameroon? Probably soccer. Soccer. Yeah, that's actually the only the sport. The only sport that people <laughs> care about. It seems like yeah, people care about. It. Yeah, you know, around the world, that's that's the one that everybody seems to care about. Yeah, and it's picking up here in America. You know, we've got other sports that are bigger than that, but it seems to be catching on. I think I read too that Cameroon. I don't know if it was a women's team or the men's, but I think they won Olympic gold one year. I read, you know, years ago. It should be uh, men's. Yeah, that was probably men's. Probably men's. I don't know when it was, like nineteen ninety. So that must have been a big deal for the country. Uh, but it's only soccer is the big sport. Yeah, but recently basketball kind yeah. of emerged. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, a little bit of basketball. Yeah. What about what is TV like? We go through here in America different, you know, reality TV and Dancing with the Stars, American Idol. What kind <laughs> of shows are most popular there? So I would say, um, so we have many channels. We have some channels. Um, like European mm, TV okay. shows, like French TV shows, okay. actually. So if you go to France, you're going to see the same thing. Okay. And we also have like Cameroonian channels where we get to see comedies, songs, people singing, and games. Yeah. Okay, okay. We have our version of, I don't know if you know, The Survivor. Sure. Yeah, sure. yeah we kind of have Your own our version own of version Survivor. of it. <laughs> okay. Um, what about the climate in Cameroon? I know you're pretty close to the equator there. It's probably warm. Uh, what, what is, how does the temperatures vary during the year? Or it is, is it, always hot. It's always hot. <laughs> always <laughs> hot. But like in a year, I can say it rains like three months. But most of the time, it's hot. It's hot. Like yeah. you mentioned rain. Does it rain? Like, it, like three months, like sometimes. And it's pretty steady for those three months, yeah. and you don't see a lot of rain other... Yeah. Okay. What about challenges facing your country? Africa has... has the continent has... Um, I know economies in these countries are really... Some of them are the fastest growing economies in the world. Um, you know, so things are picking up for Africa in many ways. But what are some of the, the challenges facing, say, Cameroon? Cameroon? I would say the French, they don't help us very well. They don't help you very well. Yeah, okay. because based on, we had a treaty like uh, during the colonization, mm -hmm. like called the Treaty of Versailles. Sure. So basically it's like the French are the one fixing prices on our own products like cocoa okay. or coffee. So I think based on that, we can't really grow, you know, as okay. we please because they always try to push us down. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so even though you have independence, it doesn't sound like it's perfect independence from France. No, <laughs> it's not really. Not okay. Really. What about any um, health challenges or um, diseases like malaria or HIV AIDS? Are they a, a huge problem or are they under control there a little bit, do you think? I think Malaria is more of a problem in Cameroon. Yeah, AIDS, we used to have AIDS a lot, but 
Now people are more educated about the disease. Okay. They go and get treated when they have problems. And the thing is, like, medical care is more affordable over there. Oh, I mean, okay. for the most people. Okay. Yeah. In the economy in Cameroon, um, I believe there's quite a bit of oil, right? So <laughs> a big part of the economy is oil. Are a lot of the people still um, farmers, though, too, in Cameroon? Maybe not where you're from in the city, but obviously, but in other parts of the country. Yeah, I would say yes. People like do more like uh, corn, corn and peanuts. Okay. Yeah, that's. I think that's the two top things we do over there. So those there. are exports too, in addition to the oil. Yeah. Now, do you when you graduate from Oakland, you're probably going to go to medical school here too. It sounds Hopefully. like. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, I know it's tough to get in. Yeah. But I can. I know so far you've been an excellent student in my class. Um, do you hope to go back to Cameroon, or do you think you'll stay here? I know your mother's here right now. You said. I mean. Or it's hard to say. Now. Maybe living there. I'm. I'm not sure about living over there. Okay. Because here we have, I mean, seriously, about it for the money, you know, here you get paid more when a you're lot. a doctor. Sure. Like, a lot more when you're right. a doctor. But I'm planning on going there and do something for my country, like maybe building schools or okay. hospitals, because we don't really have too many hospitals over there. Okay. Yeah. I think I read that, that uh, the number of nurses and doctors is really, uh, you yep. could use a lot more, so. Yeah. And what do you... When did you first get here now? To uh, when, how long have you been here? I came here in June 2013. June 2013. Okay. So hopefully six So you've had about years. three years or close to three years. What do you like best about the United States? What are some things that you like best? Probably school. School. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, the, like the big difference here is here you get to go to the lab. Okay. In Cameroon, you don't really get to go to the lab. Mm -hmm. Like, you just read the books, that's it. Okay. Like, in chemistry, they're going to tell you if you mix two products, you're going to have that color. Okay. You just have to memorize it. But you don't, but, okay. Yeah, but here you get a chance to actually do the mixing and see the thing. Okay. So, you get to see more. Okay. Yeah. Use the hands-on experience, it definitely helps, helps, it the, helps you lot. learn better. Yeah. Okay. And... Uh, we're out of time now, Aunt Sophie, but I really appreciate you coming on the show. We've learned a lot about Cameroon. Thank you for having me. Okay. My pleasure. <laughs> this is Dennis Buren, and until next time, thanks for watching Getting to Know Your Neighbors.